Well, new charges against the mother who pleaded not guilty to killing her son in a wrong way crash. All right, Jody Goldberg has more on what she's now facing and how she reacted in the courtroom. She's devastated, just like the rest of us are. Diane Bedrick was inside the courtroom as her daughter, Carrie, visibly distraught, was hit with murder charges. The 32-year-old is accused of killing her 9-year-old son and Diane's only grandson. Prosecutors say he was buckled in the back seat as Bedrick drove the wrong way for miles at speeds of 100 miles an hour on the Southern State Parkway before slamming into three cars last month. It's a nightmare. She was only on prescription. Medications. According to prosecutors, Bedrick was impaired by methamphetamine and multiple pills were recovered from a bottle found inside her SUV. The name was peeled off. Her attorney calls it an accident, saying Bedrick has health issues, including narcolepsy and spina bifida, and she was only on the drugs she was prescribed. We need doctors and pharmacists to tell us exactly what the situation was with the particular prescription that she was on, whether it impacted her ability to operate a motor vehicle. Prosecutors say Bedrick's license had been suspended 56 times, including a DWI conviction from 2012 where she tried to run. State Senator Dean Murray, who advocates for traffic safety laws and regulations, says people like Bedrick can easily slip through the cracks because prosecutors just don't have the time or staff to go after repeat traffic offenders. They're overwhelmed with these cases. They have to get everything, all the paperwork about every single suspension. They have to get it and send it to the defense attorneys, including copies of certified letters that were sent notifying the person that their license was suspended. Now, despite Bedrick's attorney asking the judge to set reasonable bail, saying it would allow his client time to grieve the death of her son and get medical care for physical and psychological issues, he still ordered her held. Now she faces a max of 25 years to life in prison if found guilty, and she's due back in court on October 22nd. In Riverhead, Long Island, Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News.